Configuring Woo Commerce taxes for your business takes a great effort. Setting up taxes is one of the first steps you need to focus on while setting up your Woo Commerce store. Taxes are complex and also differ a lot according to the business, the country, as well as products. Taxes are much complex to understand, and WooCommerce offers greater flexibility in terms of configuring taxes. Let us take a look at the possible ways to configure taxes in our WooCommerce store based on user roles. Here to set up WooCommerce taxes we use the plugin LX WooCommerce Catalog Mode, Wholesale, and Role-Based Pricing. Just before we start with the plugin settings, let us see how the basic WooCommerce tax settings are enabled in your store. When you go to WooCommerce settings, you get the option to enable the taxes. Once you enable it, you get the tax tab appearing along with the other tabs. Here you can set your tax rules, either the default ones, or you can customize based on your regions. The WooCommerce tax settings have the following options to set. Prices entered with tax, this option allows you to configure the product prices to be entered inclusive or exclusive of tax. The next one is calculate tax based on, it helps in calculating taxes based on either one of the following options, customer shipping address, customer billing address, or the shop base address. Shipping tax class, these tax classes are used to classify taxes based on various cases. In most cases, the shipping tax class is based on the items in the cart. You can also create custom tax classes. This list contains all the custom tax classes, including the default ones. It has the following options by default, shipping tax based on basket items, standard, reduced rate, and zero rate. Rounding, this option helps in rounding the tax at the subtotal level, instead of rounding per line. Additional tax classes, based on your requirements, you can create additional tax classes in this setting. In tax settings, a separate section is created whenever a new tax class is added. You can see the new ones added here. Suppose you want to add a new tax class, my tax class then, you can simply type in here and then save it. The new tax class gets added here. Now you can enter the values and then save the tax class for further use. Display prices in the shop, allows you to configure how prices should be displayed in the shop. You can either choose to display product prices inclusive of tax or exclusive of tax on the shop page. Display prices during cart and checkout, allows you to configure how prices should be displayed in the cart and checkout page. You can either choose to display prices inclusive of tax or exclusive of tax in the cart and checkout page. Price display suffix, allows you to set a default text suffix to the product prices. Example, inclusive of all taxes. Display tax totals, allows you to configure how taxes should be displayed in your store. You can display it as a single total or show individually. And then save the settings. You can configure the tax class settings in the respective sections suppose you want to set the standard rate tax settings, then, go to standard rates. Here you can see the following columns to be set. Like the country code, state code, zip or postcode, the city the rate, tax name, and the priority. You can also choose whether you want to apply the taxes above all the prior taxes, then choose to enable compound. And also if you want this tax rate to apply to the shipping charges on your WooCommerce store, then you need to tick the shipping checkbox. If you want to import or export the taxes with respect to any locations, then you can use the import option and then import the CSV files. Once the import is done, you can see the taxes imported. Take a look at the detailed guide on how you can set up the taxes for WooCommerce on your store from the link provided in the description. Remember you can also add tax settings on individual product pages too. Now let's see how you can create user roles. WooCommerce offers a simple way to add new users to your store. All you need to do is, just go to Users, in the dashboard and then add a new user. Now you can even assign user roles to these users like a wholesaler, retailer, vendor, shopkeeper, admin, etc. Once we have the users, now let us take a look at how to set up WooCommerce sales tax for user roles. Firstly you install the Elix role-based pricing plugin. Get to know more about the plugin, from the link in the description. You can see the tax option in the plugin settings. Here you can enable the tax options. Once you enable, you can see the tax options table. The table consists of various user roles, tax classes, and the tax type. Remember that the table allows you to handle only the display option for the taxes in your store. The basic settings need to be done in the WooCommerce tax settings. Once these WooCommerce tax settings are done, you can choose the same for any user role. 
Learn more about the WooCommerce tax option settings from the link in the description. Once you have baselined the tax options settings in your store, you can assign the tax class and tax type for each user role in your store. The tax class is the same as defined in the WooCommerce tax class. When you add more tax class, then that will be displayed here accordingly. You can choose one among them. Tax type gives you options on how to display price in the shop and the cart and checkout page with including tax or excluding tax. You can also choose a default option. You can keep the default option, to apply the WooCommerce default tax class. You can drag and drop the hamburger icon on the extreme left of each user role to set the priority of the user role. The next one is price suffix. You have three options here, none, general, and role specific. None, no price suffix text. General, a generic price suffix text for all user roles. Once you select this option, a suffix text option appears, where you can enter the desired text. Role specific, as the name suggests, it allows you to set custom price suffix text based on user roles. Once you set these settings, you can see the store displays the changes with respect to each user, enough to be differentiated. For example, consider we have two user roles wholesaler and a shopkeeper. We can set my tax class and reduced rate for these user roles. Beforehand, you need to define the my tax class tax option in your WooCommerce settings. Now in the price suffix section, you can specify role specific price suffix and specify a suffix for each of these roles. When wholesalers visits the shop page, he or she sees the product prices with the my tax class tax options and role specific suffix. And when the shopkeeper visits the shop page, they see the product prices with the reduced tax rate and the price suffix corresponding to the role. You can do the same for various roles in your store. Hence this is how you can set the WooCommerce tax, based on user roles. Thank you for watching. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel and social media channels.